Alright guys, so the last thing we're going to do for week 3 deep dive is going to be our thumbnail. So we're going to hover over, choose a sprite. I'm going to click on the paint and we're going to, excuse me, call this thumbnail. Once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and create our own scene. So because we already have a lot of stuff that we can make it, uh, it actually won't take too long. So I can go ahead and click on my stage. Use my select tool and click on copy. Go back to my thumbnail and click on paste. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Then I'm going to go to my title, click on copy, come back, and click on paste. I'm going to just move it where I want it. Then I'm going to grab my grid. Get a little bit bigger and position it where I want. So you guys can basically do whatever you want for your thumbnail. Just think of it as a little snippet or a little piece of how the game is actually going to look. So I'm going to come here, grab my reindeer, and I'm just slowly building this little scene of what the player has to do in order to play my game. Uh, I could add the present here, maybe add uh, my type of coal that's going to be flying through that's going to try to hit uh, my player. But once you're done, the next thing we're going to do is click on the code tab. We're going to click on the yellow events tab. So when green flag is clicked, we're going to go into motion and add a go to X zero, uh, Y zero. We're going to go into looks and make sure that this is in the front layer. We're going to add a show. And we're also going to set the ghost effect to 100. And with that, we're all set with our week three things that we will have to do. Uh, later on, we'll move on to be making the week four stuff where we're going to be wrapping up any last finishing touches for our game but for the most part the game is technically done so you can go ahead and play everything test everything out to make sure that it's working just like the game that we played